Hey guys, Rob here with 3D Printscape. So today I'm going to show you how to fuse filament together just using a piece of tubing and some heat. Uh, the process does take a little bit of practice. I went through a lot of practice runs here um, just to kind of get it right. Uh, so I recommend that if you're considering doing it in the future that you spend a little bit of time ahead of time just kind of going through and uh, getting the feel for it. Once you got it down, uh, it becomes a lot easier. Uh, the first probably dozen or so times it might get a bit annoying. Um, so yeah, so I, mean, I went through probably a couple dozen tests, probably spent a good hour or so the first time around just getting familiar with the process. It's easy in theory, uh, but a little bit more difficult in application. I also just bought a tool that's designed to help with the welding or fusing process. Uh, I'll do a video on that coming up pretty soon. Uh, I wanted to go through the process of just using it with the tubing first because uh, I wanted to see if it's actually worth spending the 10 or 12 bucks or whatever it is for that one tool uh, versus just using a piece of spare tube. Uh, they do also have a all-in-one fusing uh, tool. I think it was like $60 and the reviews were questionable. So I don't think it's worth it unless you're going to be doing it all the time. And even in that situation, I'm still not sure a tool like that is the best option because it takes about seven minutes, I believe it says in the instructions per fuse. Uh, so if you're trying to do a lot of them, that can add up pretty quick time-wise. If you have any questions about the process when you're going through it or would like to see any other videos, go ahead and leave a comment below or join us on Discord. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks. All right, so first I wanted to talk about when you might want to fuse filament together. Um, I have this piece here that I did for the video, um, just basically fusing two pieces together. I have different colors here that were chosen just so that it's a clear contrast uh, when I was doing the video between the two. Um, but basically, if you have a bunch of scrap filament or just a roll that's almost empty and you're wanting to combine it with another roll, uh, that is a good option. And then the other time you might want to use it is if you're running low on filament. I kind of simulated that when I printed this Benchy. Uh, but basically, uh, when you're running low on filament, if you don't have enough or don't think you have enough to get through the actual print, uh, you can go ahead and cut the filament or wait till it gets towards the end and then just attach additional filament to it. Uh, that process is pretty much the same. The only difference is you're going to be stuck with the tube uh, right next to the extruder for a little bit of time while that print's finishing up. And then once it's done, uh, you can uh, remove the filament and then take the tubing off. But it is a good option if you're trying to get through a print and you don't think you have enough filament. It's either you try to combine the filament or you uh, pretty much restart the print. Uh, for longer prints, that doesn't make sense. Um, just trying to combine the filament is just fine with a couple of caveats, which we'll talk about here in a minute when I get to pros and cons. All right, so now I wanted to talk about what tools you're going to need. Obviously, you're going to need the filament that you're going to want to combine. Uh, you're going to need a piece of tubing. Uh, some sandpaper because uh, a lot of times it's going to be a little bit thicker in the area where it's joined So you're going to have to sand it down a little bit and that also holds true for any of the welders or things that you buy online as well uh, If you're not just using the tube um, a pair of scissors or something that can cut the filament and a heat source I use my heat gun here uh, But you can just use a little candle or something as well it doesn't work quite as good uh, so I prefer the heat gun, uh, but if you don't have one it, and you're trying to get by in a pinch, you can do with just a candle or a lighter. All right, now let's jump over to some pros and cons here. Uh, the pros are pretty obvious. I mean, you get to um, create rolls of filament from scrap. Uh, you can slice it more than once in the roll. I mean, I know people in the community who have done like a full roll, so like six or seven slices, and um, it works just fine. Um, and then you can also save prints, uh, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, so those are the pros. The cons are really, uh, it's a difficult process to learn. Uh, once you understand it and have done it a couple times successfully, uh, it's easier to do it going forward. Um, but it, like I said, it does take time to get right. So if you're trying to save a print, make sure you're leaving enough filament to mess up a couple times. Um, other con would be, it does come out a little bit thicker, so you do have to sand it down. So if you're trying to print minis or something like that, where you're trying to get a very high level of detail, you could potentially have issues uh, with it just because it could be a little bit thicker coming through. I didn't have any issues because I did sand it down, but you are potentially risking it getting stuck in the tube if you're not sanding it down enough or potentially causing partial nozzle clogs. Again, I haven't had that happen, uh, but if you're not careful, it, it could definitely happen. All right, so with that being said, let's jump over to walking through the process. 
All right guys, so I wanted to start off by saying that this does take a little bit of practice to get right. As you can see here, I kind of went through a lot of different ones. Um, eventually, I kind of got the hang of it and then you'll get to a point where you don't have those type of issues. Um, but when you're working, if you're trying to work with filament that's on the printer, make sure you give yourself enough slack just in case you do mess up a couple times. Uh, if you're just combining rolls of filament, you won't have that issue, so you'll be fine. And I also wanted to show you that this process does work. Uh, I had some gray filament in the printer, and then I went ahead and paused it and kind of just cut the filament that was there and uh, added some white filament, uh, fused it together using this process and um, it worked without an issue. Um, just keep in mind that, again, make sure you give yourself enough room just in case you mess up a couple times. Uh, but it does work, and if you're running low on filament or something mid-print, uh, it is a great way to save the print versus having to uh, kind of start all over. And it doesn't really cost much at all to get started. All right, so what you're gonna need is some sort of heat source. Like I said, I'm using my heat gun here, and then a small piece of tubing, probably just about an inch. Uh, either of these will work. Uh, I'm just going to use the clear one because when you're working with a darker filament, it's easier to see where it's at in there. Um, but they both work just fine. If you're running through this process on uh, filament that's attached to the printer, uh, when you're done, you're not going to be able to remove this unless you're just adding a small piece. So what will happen is it'll just uh, sit right next to the extruder and the filament will just go through there like normal. Uh, it won't cause any issues or block anything. All right, and then if you're combining multiple rolls of filament, um, when you connect it, you, you'll end up unwinding the rest of one roll. You'll be able to feed the tube back out of that roll. Um, then you'll have to uh, wind it back up into the current roll. All right, so I've got a roll of filament here that I'm gonna use, and I'm just going to uh, fuse this small piece to it. Uh, to get started here, uh, we want to kind of cut this at a 45, and then we'll cut this other side, the side that's being attached to it, at a 45 go in the opposite direction so that they kind of line up together. I'll show you here in a second. So you can see that these two are both at a 45 that when joined together creates just a clean connection. Uh, that's, a, that's what we want. And you want to make sure that when you're attaching this that the filament you're attaching is going to wind up the same way as the current filament to reduce any type of pressure or anything or potential jams going forward. Uh, so this will end up being attached like this. So what we'll do here is go ahead and put the tubing on here and we're gonna heat up the hot end here using the heat gun and then um, slide the tube up, slide this into it and then kind of turn around it a little bit. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, then once I pushed them together in there, I kind of uh, heated this back up here for a couple seconds and then turned it a little bit uh, just to attach it a bit better. And then we'll let this cool down here for a second and then we should have a decent fuse. And then we'll have to take a look at it. Most likely we're gonna have to sand it down. Uh, I looked at a lot of the uh, tools that are meant for this versus just using a piece of tubing and you're still going to end up having to sand it down in those cases. Overall this looks pretty good. I can go ahead and just slide the tubing back off and then as you can see there is some resistance here so we are going to want to make sure that we sand that down so that we don't have that resistance going into the printer because that could potentially cause jams. Um, so with that I'm actually going to leave the tubing on here for a second and get out some sandpaper and just grind this down a little bit. Um, Typically, I'm just using 220 grit. You could probably get away with 110 if you wanted. So I'm just gonna uh, set this on here and just sand it down a little bit. And this is also a good way to test to see if you got a good fuse, because if you're sanding it down and it comes apart, it means it probably would have come apart when going through the printer.
All right, so that's tanned down good. And I can slide the tubing on there without any issues. So now I'm just gonna go inside the tube back out and then roll this up on the filament spool. And then with that in there, you'll be good to use this. Uh, I know a lot of people end up combining uh, multiple reels like this and kind of just use it more of a bulk type reel. Uh, good for printing larger things, maybe not the best quality type things. Uh, so you'll have to decide what you want to do there. Um, because of that size difference, I'm not going to be using this to try to print anything like um, your miniatures or any uh, thing where I'm looking for higher quality on, uh, just because that transition could potentially cause some hiccups and I don't want to ruin the print as a result. Um, that said, I have had to do it on one that was decently high quality, um, just because I about ran out of filament, <laughs> so it was kind of a stop gap, so it's either I accepted the risk of it not being the best, or I just uh, let the print fail and kick it off again on a fresh roll. And it ended up being okay. Uh, so you got options there. All right guys, so that covered the process of fusing filament, just using a piece of tubing and some heat. Um, like I said, I am gonna do another video on the welder tool that I bought, uh, just to kind of do a compare and contrast to see if it makes sense to spend a little bit of extra money, or just keep a little piece of tube around for when you wanna do it. I'm guessing it's going to have a learning curve there as well, um, based on some of the reviews, especially with it being questionable on some of the reviews. Uh, but again, I did want to make sure I do that research to kind of go over it with you. And again, uh, it's important that you're patient with this process, especially when you're going through it the first couple times, because you are going to mess up. It's a challenging one, uh, but once you get it down packed, it's pretty easy to keep it going forward. It's one of those techniques where once you understand it and have done it a couple times, uh, you'll be pretty good going forward. Uh, but again, if you have any questions about the process or would like to see any other videos, go ahead and leave a comment below or join us on Discord. Thanks.